Yo, hey, what up, YouTube? 87SS boy, man, checking back in with y'all, man. Uh, I know the past couple of videos been a little bit different. You know what I'm saying? Something to do in the meantime, in between time. That's pretty much what's going on. Uh, and I just gotta, I just feel like I want to share my blessings. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I've i been wanting, wanting and needing a truck for the longest and I finally got it. So I want to share my experience. You know, it might've not been you know, the full experience, but it was something. Hey, man, y'all see, I'm rocking the T-Mobile hat, man. They gave me this T-Mobile Tuesday. It was free. So I took it because I love hats, man. I'm a, I am wear hats all the time. So, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to T-Mobile for the free hat. Uh, but, yeah, um, so I just wanted to come back with y'all, man. A lot of people was asking me about the truck, which I was planning on doing a full review of the truck. But, uh y'all kind of pushed me to go ahead and get it done instead of you know bsing around but uh if you're new to the channel man go ahead and hit that like button hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when i'm dropping these videos man you won't be disappointed you know what i'm saying i'm a i'm, I'm dropping videos as much as i can i give as much information out as i can uh you can ask me anything you can comment i'm gonna reply um they're just the type of person that I am, man, because I want somebody to do the same for me. You know what I'm saying? So without me talking so much, man, we're going to go ahead and get into the review of my 2016 Chevrolet Silverado Z71 LTZ. Let's go. And here we go. 2016 Silverado Z71 LTZ silver I already got all the doors open up so you can see uh, the only thing that I've done to the car if you missed the previous videos only thing that I've done to the vehicle so far is tint the windows 20% over 20 in the rear and 5% over clear in the front and the um, and the 5% strip so interior of the vehicle i got the key in here so it's making noise so interior this is what we got going here you got the z71 there um you got the i don't know what color this is but it's like a uh champagne beige type color with the dark brown it accents or complements each other very well uh, all of the lights in the inside are um, LED already. So that's pretty cool. Um, I got the full console here. Man, why is it so, hold on y'all. I need, I need a little more light I feel like. All right, I'm back. Got a little more light here. So I just felt like it was a little too dark. But anyway, you know, like I said, I got the, the light beige or whatever, and then the chocolate. So they complement each other very well. I uh, got the full console with the AC outlet. Got two cigarette lighters here and two USBs here. Uh, this is your control system with your AC, your radio, Bluetooth, CarPlay, Android Auto. Got all that. The dash here. Um, sunroof in it, which I ain't got the key in, so let me... Let me put the key in here. Come on with the Chevy and my link. Got the full sunroof back here. Uh, I don't like that blinking. So let me close these doors up. Well, this door up. Uh, then I also have the rear, the rear uh, glass back there. So there's a button for it. I can open and close it with the touch of a button. That's pretty cool. I think so anyway. Um, like I said, the radio, um, I got Bluetooth, AUX, uh, of course, radio, CarPlay, Android Auto, uh, navigation, all that. Got the double, um, it has the double glove boxes over there. 
got wireless charge cell phone charging but guess what i got a i have a 12 pro max which i got a 14 pro max coming because my phone keep adding up but the pro maxes don't fit here so if you got a pro max it ain't gonna fit uh console here uh you got two more usb ports there and an aux you got another uh cigarette lighter type thing there so you got one cigarette lighter two three and then you got another one in the back one more in the back so that's four in all you got two usbs here you got two usbs there pretty big console too like i mean i got plenty of room for all my junk that i want to hide you know what i'm saying uh now this I ain't gonna go off again. Actually, just take the key out. So yeah, uh, chocolate and beige interior. The full back seat, so it's the crew cab. Full back seat, cup holders in the back. Chocolate carpet and floor mats, the rubber uh floor mats uh they came with black ones too i guess somebody you know whoever had it bought those as well back seats let up for more room and storage i mean this thing is i haven't cleaned it up because i've been riding and stuff but i mean it doesn't look look dirty but i mean this was well taken care of man this is a 2016 i mean it, when I tell you it was taken care of, it was taken care of. And then uh, we got we got the running board. So I guess from the trim, the LTZ, I don't know it all. If I'm wrong, y'all just tell me. But the LTZ, I got the chrome uh, door handles, the chrome around the doors, the chrome trim here, chrome Silverado chrome 20 inch wheels uh chrome mirrors the mirrors also so i don't have like the blind the blind spot uh indicator but i do have the um the signal light indication got the little magnifying mirror there and it also when you put it in reverse uh the mirrors fold down so that you can see where you're going so that's pretty cool also had that on my Tahoe. Just saying. I'ma still talk about it because I still miss her. Uh this side, this side of the seat lets up as well. So plenty of room for storage back here if I need it. Uh Bose sound system. It don't say it back here, but it do in the front. So everything is Bose. I don't know what size the speakers are and I don't know the rating on them and all that stuff, but it sounds pretty good. I'm definitely satisfied uh, to where I don't think I have to add anything. Uh, at first I had the settings wrong on the radio. So the speakers wasn't performing like I thought they should. So I was already out, like I was ready to uh, upgrade to some subs in here. But then I realized that it was me. Uh, it was just set to factory settings, I guess. But yeah, this is this is what she looking like, y'all. 2016 Silverado LTZ Z71. I'm satisfied. I am definitely satisfied. I mean, it ain't much I can do to this. Like everything is there. Um, also have, well, I got heated seats. Um, what else? Got the bed, like the lights for the bed and everything there. Uh, man, I just taught myself something like literally on video just now. All my windows just let down. Uh, Good thing I could let them down because I've had the tent long enough. 
Uh, but yeah, all my windows just let down with the push of a button. And I still don't really know how I did that. Because I pressed. So I pressed the light for the bed, but the windows let down, which is weird. All right. I kind of taught myself some. I don't know how that happened, but, you know, I'll figure it out. I'm still learning the truck, y'all. So I don't really know how that happened. Uh, so, yeah, that's my bed light. This button right here. But for some reason, when I pressed this last time, it let all the windows down. I don't know what that's about. Or if maybe it's something that I did on my key, on my key fob that was in my pocket. That might have been what it was. Anyway, yeah, that's that's it. I'm definitely satisfied with my purchase. Uh, there will be some minor upgrades to come, but I'm just in love with what I got for now, y'all. Like, I love changing stuff just like anybody else does who loves cars and everything, but I am definitely satisfied y'all so listen man uh i couldn't i couldn't just look crazy man by not knowing how i let those windows down by mistake so it wasn't anything that i pressed inside of the car i had the key fob in my pocket um and if you press the lock and unlock button at the same time look what happens the windows all four windows let down and then even my mirrors fold in like nobody's in the car still got to figure out how to exactly use it but because they didn't go all the way down i think because i let it go i don't know anyway y'all y'all see what i'm trying to show you That's crazy. That's that's pretty cool. I didn't even know that did that. And it's kind of hard for me to do it with uh, with one hand as well. So let's see here. Let's see if I can get them to go the rest of the way down. There we go. Now, I don't know how to get them to come back up, but hey, one thing at a time, man. But yeah, so you press the lock and unlock button at the same time. And it'll let the windows all the way down as well as fold the mirrors in. Pretty cool feature. I like that. Uh, and then we'll go on to the under the hood. I'm trying to show y'all everything. I know it, I know it's dirty up under here, but uh, you know, it is what it is. If I can find the thing to open it, there we go. And I need light. All right, got some light. So this is the 5.3. Pretty sure you already knew. 5.3 right there. Uh, 2016. 5.3. Uh, I'm not even sure what transmission I have yet or anything like that. I hadn't even looked over everything. But I got the 5.3 V8. Uh, and it's a four-wheel drive. So... I can do well four by four. I know there's differences in four wheel drive and all wheel drive and all that. But uh here's my got a button here. Well a knob that I can change it from two to auto to high four to low four. So just normal everyday driving, I'm gonna just be in two wheel drive. And then you got the trailer braking right here. So pretty cool. Pretty cool. I'm definitely, you know, learning more about this vehicle and loving it more and more day by day. Yeah, and then last but not least will be uh, the bed of the truck. So the bed is already lined. Uh, I don't know if it's factory lined or if it was done afterwards. Uh, I believe it's factory. For the fact that it has the Chevy emblem up there on the front of the bed, 
Uh, I don't know. I'm just glad that it's already done. Less extra money I gotta spend. As well as uh, there's a cover on the bed of retracts, retractable bed covers. Um, pretty nice one. It locks. Got a little button here. And then you just slide it open. Um, and like I said before, um, the only thing that I don't like about this bed cover is that it takes up space in the bed of the truck just in case you, you know, have extra uh, equipment or whatever you're hauling. Uh, it takes up a little extra space in the bed. But for what I'm gonna be using it for, this probably won't get in my way. Um, so like I said, that's the only thing I got with it. I like that it's hard and solid. Um, it's, it's pretty cool and that it locks. Uh, the other thing with the bed, uh, I got the light in here or the button in here for is this one for the bed of the truck. So you hit that, come to the back and you got your bed light there, which is not LED. So y'all know that gotta be changed. And then you got LED lights, bed lights, and this is all factory. So that's pretty cool. I didn't see the lights at first in the bed of the truck, so I thought I was gonna have to add my own, but uh, my homeboy, Sally, he told me, he was like, man, you gotta have uh, bed lights in your truck, because he got a um, a lower trim than I have, and he was like, man, I got bed lights, so you gotta have bed lights. So he had me check, and uh, I actually got them. You can't really see them things tucking up there. But I'm glad I got it. You know, less, like I said, less money I gotta spend. But them, them pissy lights right there, they gotta come out. We don't do pissy lights around here. We all LEDs. These are reverse lights that were on. They pissy too. So we doing LEDs everywhere. Uh, I don't have to worry about the interior, like I told y'all, because it, there's already LEDs in here. Um, oh yeah, and then something else I found out in the making of this video is for the mirrors so my mirrors can fold in as well with my uh key fob and on the key fob to do the mirrors you just have to hold the lock button in so you hold that button in and the mirrors fold in then you hold that button in again Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's the unlock button. You hold, yeah. So lock button, you hold the mirrors in and then the windows come down. So maybe you don't have to uh, press the lock and unlock. Look, man, hey, I'm learning. I'm learning, man. I'm gonna keep pressing buttons and everything and I'm gonna YouTube stuff and figure it out. I thought you pressed the lock and unlock button for the windows, but apparently you don't have to do that. Now I just got to figure out how to make them go up by themselves. I hadn't figured that out yet. Anyway, instead of y'all watching me struggle so much with this, man, I'm going to go ahead and close this video out. But uh, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Uh, for anybody who may be in the market for a pickup truck or whatever, um, this, is, this is what I got. 87 SS boy type. Um, 2016 Silverado Z71 LTZ. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this review. Uh, I don't know if it may have helped anybody out or not. I actually learned something by making the video myself. Um, I enjoyed making the video and I hope you enjoy watching it. Y'all go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you be notified when we're dropping these videos. If you hadn't already, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. We doing everything over here. Come by and check us out. 87 SS, boy, we out of here.